hip hop, selling like a vendor. Money comes in like man, fuck a gender. 24 7 no more grind, fuck a plunder. You're getting cars, is a crime, I'll be an offender. Cause cash rules everything around me. I'm the king with the game, only right there you could crown me. Forget steady floating, you know go fit to drown me. Oh god, my flow is rap picket, Sinani. Kata General, money is the issue. Like a fake edition, baby, money is the vision. You need money less, baby, come on, let me teach you. Too many white faces, my pocket is here to bleach you. Only like Ronaldo. Rockin' black and yellow, fuckin' stay fat like man, you gotta lay low. So I say shit when I seen paper. So you gotta lay low when I'm talking about paper. And yo, bro, it's your boy Cardi Six. It's your boy Cardi Six. You know what it is. And I'm hanging out with Cool Carrot TV. Yo, bro. By the name Cardi Six, but that's my stage name. My my name particular is in Imano. Imano. Um, my name is Emmanuel, Emmanuel Okechuku, and my stage name goes like, we call it Kata 6, Kata 6, Kata 6, it has different meanings. I'll explain to, to you in a good time. But right now, let's talk about where I came from. I came from a family of five, five, five people. We are five, we are four boys, and a lady, a girl. I love her so much, she's my only girl, like she's a girl I care for so much. And now, particularly my my musical aspect, I started I started I started when I was when I was 15. I started discovering myself when I was 15. But back then when I was in school, you know, I had this kind of courage in me. Let's do music, let's do music. I love music. I used to sing people's song what as well. I sing people's song, you know, I do people's thing. But I believe when I was so younger, that, that, that moment when I was younger, I believe that I have a part of the spirit in me that leads me to music, I call it purity. Because what that goes like purified is purified. When, when you hear something is called purified, when I say something is purified, it means it's purified. How it goes, I came from a family of uh, five, five, five children. Yeah, I have, I have four brothers and a sister. I have four brothers, that's four soldiers, you know, four soldiers. And I have a sister, she's the only sister I have. I treat her like, like the way I ever treat a, a girlfriend. She means so much to me. Her name is Lady Costa. That's her nickname. My name is Uju, and her, her, her native name is Uju, Uju Mwa. So I always take her, I value her more than everything. And that's how it goes. I treat her the way I treat my, any lady, any lady I see. And let's talk about my my mom, my mom and my dad. Yeah, I started I started feeling love for my for my family and my parents. I started feeling love for my parents when I was when I was um let's say nineteen years because actually when I was very younger I don't know anything. I was so I was so occupied by the love of everyone, so I don't know what love matters a lot for me. But I finally discovered that family love, parental love, parental love especially, parental love, the best love you ever get out there. Many people are fake, you know, they treat you when, when they treat you right when they see the kind of thing they're expecting from you. Let's leave that aside. My, my mom's name is Rita. Miss Rita, I value her. I love her so much, man. I love her. Fuck. I love her. I love her like, man, you got your guy every day. Because every day I wake up with smile. I think about that. That's how I go. My dad, my dad name is uh, Mr. Boniface, Boniface Okichuku. Superstar. I love him so much too. He has given me most of all the um, inspiration that came from within, outside corner. He gave me most of them. And yeah, I'm so happy with them. I'm good with them. I'm good with my family. With my bros, Eflex, Pablo, expect something from him. He's an artist too. He's a very hard artist. Just something from him. So, right now, let me talk about uh, how I started music. I started music when I'm... Right now, I would like to talk about my secondary school. When I was in secondary school, I met many many niggas, many type of different different souls. I met um, some kind of guys. When we were schooling, it wasn't easy, but I thank God that, yeah, we passed that shit. We passed those level. We passed everything. I met many type of people. I met... Um, I met Amos, those guys, those guys, I wish I could be with them because they gave me one of the best proofs of life. Like they gave me kind of proofs I, I never seen outside there. I wish you could meet together. They well, definitely will definitely meet. Ah, okay. Second 
secondary school lifestyle, I grew, I grew up when I was secondary school because that was when I started learning, learning everything about life. You know, I met many niggas, many niggas there. Then that was when we started discovering our early, our early career. Ah, bro, I don't even forget what you tell me. Started my secondary school at Ejigbo. Um, let's say White House Comprehensive High School to be precise. I met different niggas there. I disturb there. When it comes to music, I disturb a lot. I met different niggas. Most of them are into music, but I brought most of them into music, like disturbing the class, doing many things that makes uh teach you for set and all this coming in the assembly. Yeah. So I remember Amos, Amos, uh Odunayo, and a girlfriend of mine back then, Rita. Rita, wow. I wish I could ever see her again, but I believe this video will lead up to me. Yeah, so definitely, yeah. So that is how it goes when in, in, in the secondary school time. Uh, the way I discover myself in music, in musical aspects, is uh, quite very, very, very energetic because when I was doing music, when I started music, the first person that ever produced me was uh, Mainu. Mainu. Oh, he got the yellow like this. <laughs> Mainu is a great body. Yeah, he's a kind of person now, everyone we work with. He gave me the strength, like he pushed me, he talked to me, he gave me every every everything I needed in in any any producers out there. He's the first producer I ever with. He's one of the best producers. My check on him is very good. Yeah, he's a very good artist. Uh, yeah. Um the first day I was recording, the first day I entered um the studio shit like a vocal boot. The first day I was recording in a vocal boot wasn't easy. That day I came with my cousins. Like we are all the hybrid, uh, prosper guys, hybrid prosper. We are all there. It wasn't easy. Hybrid gave me the courage to do music. Like like, yeah, man, you can do this shit. You can do this shit. Yeah, I believe. I believe. Sure, I definitely believe. So the first day I was in it, I was kind of shaking. Like man, <laughs> it's not easy though. But that was the first time on mic, so it's not definitely easy. But it's easy. So to me. It was so so kind of difficulty why I, I faced it because after I see the kind of people that are around with me, like these are families, no no not some kind of friends, they are family. So I had the courage, you know, the courage, the energy, the positive vibe to push on. So I definitely had to hit it. And when I came out, it was dope. The first track I ever made with with hybrid, no um with my producer was uh, uh, can I remember the song? Yeah. Uh, low Abi, <laughs> Abi, okay, cut. The first day I made music, the first time I made music, the first time I was voicing on in a vocal, like doing music, was with my friends and on my family. At least I could remember I was with Hybrid, Hybrid, and um, Prosper. Those are the two people that gave me motivation in doing um one of the best songs so far. I could remember the first music I did was a mixtape. The first mixtape I ever did was this um song that Rihanna did, like Yeah, let me hold ya, put me right time around ya. Yeah, the, the instrumental bit, I did something about it. And I featured my cousin though, he was there actually. He was the person that gave me motivation to do most music. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It wasn't easy actually. I was so scared. Like, damn, I'm gonna enter what's in this so Everybody did like, well, bro, I want to do this thing. I say, like, fuck your fears, fuck your fears, face your feelings, face your feelings. When you do music, you don't have to think about anybody that's around. Like, you just have to well, free your mind and do what you want so you could come up with the best sound. That was what he said. So I followed that aspect. And yeah, I did. I did great sound at the end. So I'm happy about it. And I'm going to give him a very good credit. Yeah. Big ups to you, hybrid. That was cool. So the first time I ever made a stage performance, ah, street carnival yeah, that time now. You know, not so good. Like, wasn't easy. I had a, I had a, uh, There was a guy. There was a guy who does DJ stuff with me. He's the one who who who, who booked me for a different kind of show in the streets. Like he booked me. His name is DJ Fizo. DJ Fizo. He booked me in different show sessions. He was the first person that gave me um, a first show in my life. So when I was in the show, like, yeah, I saw everything was going well. Like, everybody was happy, and I had to step on stage. When I step on stage, I was, I'm a kind of person that everybody knows about. 
my name when I stay. So when I was out, they were shouting, yelling like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm shouting this and I'm saying that you, this. Mm -hmm. Many people doesn't know I do music. For my first summer stage, it, def it, it, it gave me the definition they wanted. They all wanted to see. You understand that? So, so when I was on stage, I did everything I could do. I played my first song that time. <laughs> I play like nobody to know everybody has a shape, but it based on the instrument and kind of all this stuff. But at the end of the day, as I like everybody's fucking bored, I can't just come out and watch people just shaking body on, on, on music. I spend time, I spend time, energy, and all this stuff doing. Okay, I had to, I was on, I was on some kind of uh, local currency. On the other hand, I my pocket, it reached like, <laughs> it reached like 3k. So I released part of it and show it away. When I truly they started feeling my vibe, that was when they knew I was alive. That was when they knew I was dead. So that was my first time on stage. I, I was ashamed at the first place when I was performing, nobody stood to me. But when I threw a little cash on me, they felt me, they felt that I was alive. So I don't know, but to me, it's a kind of motivation different. For the Nigeria musical industry, I have I have love for everyone. I have love for the video. I have love for Olamide, I have love for Whiskey and Bonner Boy as well. They are, they are the major artists we're looking up to right away. But the kind of person that gave me motivation to do music when I was very younger then, it was Whiskey. And it's definitely Whiskey. Yeah, it's Whiskey. Because back then I used to listen to most of his songs and I feel like, yeah, this kind of vibe, this kind of sound I like hearing. Like, yeah, it's something that hit different in all the music I've heard in Nigerian music. So to me, I see it, I see it like that. Whiskey is one of my motivational artists so far. Um, if I'm to collaborate with a um, Nigeria yeah. Fuji artist, to me, let's say um, Pasuma, Pasuma Wanda. I've always had feelings for that guy. Number one, he dress, he dress, he dress in a hip hop way, not even in a native way. Number two, he has done many hip hop uh, sounds. Like, yeah, they are correct. I felt it. Yeah, so to me, if I want to work with any uh, native artist like uh, Fuji star, I work with Pasuma for number one. In Nigerian music, if I'm asked, like, who will put the artist out for the To me, I'll take Bonner Boy. The reason I think Bonner Boy has different, different meaning, let me say, he does, he does trap. He does, uh, he does hip hop, he does afro, he does every shit. So, if I want to work with any artist, it should be def definitely Bonner Boy, Bonner Boy. Yeah, I want to work with that Jeep, bro. For me, in the next two years, <laughs> in the next two years, man, I see myself in a different dimension. Like, the place I would like to be, I want to be in the, in the hip hop world. When I'm talking about the hip hop world, I don't mean in Nigeria or Africa. I mean, Global. Global. I'm, I'm talking about the world. Yeah. I'm kind of glad I have some kind of a saying I come from the other side. Yeah, but though I'm a Nigerian guy, but I, I do love it. You, I, 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 I fucking love trap. So I see myself going in different dimension two years. Like, they, in a place, oh fuck, I'm into shit today. Designer, everything I wear was dressed to me by my younger man, my younger brother, who, who, who best. Do, do best so watch out for him he has the best designs and like all the stuff you need out there to go for different location he has them just contact him he's my younger one i'm just patronizing in any way he has it so if i'm opportune to meet the uh, the president of nigeria okay i'll tell him hey man what's up go look at the youth go look at the youth man he he said some some things that the youth aren't trying that we're so lazy but he's so wrong about that we all know that we are the people that we look in this country and if you are doing something wrong, there's a way you have to explain to us like this is how it goes, not just justifying us. Like this is how we do. I'll tell him that man, watch out for the youth. That's the only thing I'll tell him. Yeah. The only thing I have to say about us, okay, is um man, it wasn't so easy. I was there, I was there when it all happened, the massacre. I was there, I was there, but I'm telling you, I'm grateful for my life today. But the only thing I have to say about that is that, damn, we're not loved by our, our we're not loved by our country, our president. We should, we should just try to do something for the youth. We should just try to do something for us. 
You don't have to go with the green and come on looking for something else. At the end of the day, call you a young boy or something else. It doesn't work that way. So they have to. Fix all this shit. Have 10 million today. Damn! If I have 10 million today, forget. I know it's not the talk. I just forget. See, uh, I know my family. I know my friends. But right now, I'm not looking for friends. So definitely, the friends that have been there for me, they are all family. So. I call everybody family, so that 10 million, I'll spend it with the rest of them just to be happy. And they should be happy. When they're happy, when they are happy, I'm all, I don't need happy now. That's it. So, definitely, that's it. Uh, I did the